Okay, I'm pissed off and there's nothing at all humorous at all in this particular video. Hi, my name is Kyle and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what's going on in Afghanistan and the person you have here behind me, the former vice president. I don't have enough disdain right now to talk about this. I am livid. I am upset. I am mad. I'm mad because the lack of leadership this country has seen in the past eight months has been extraordinarily horrible and just gets worse and worse and worse. particularly on the domestic level but now it's crossed over to the foreign affairs okay and we're seeing a simpering style of leadership a simpering style of leadership that is causing instability throughout the entire world Particularly in Afghanistan, which we know all about that, the evacuation, the former vice president bowing the knee to the Taliban on their demands to get out of there by the end of the month. And from what I understand, if you know this story, let me know. I couldn't find it before I prepped this video that we're not coming back and they're left to strand it, that they're stranded on their own and can't uh, won't be supported for the evacuation. That's what I heard. I haven't found anything on that. And, um, but just in general, this whole thing is a nightmare. And for those of you who don't know who may on this channel, we haven't talked about this at all. But essentially today there was a homicide attack, a homicide bomber attack where some servicemen, 12, I believe were killed. And the former vice president gave a press conference today. And the optics are totally insane. They're ridiculous. Okay. So I'm going to play these clips one by one. And let's see what we have here. Make sure my audio is turned on. Looks like it is. Let's play this first clip here. As well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down. Oh yeah, right. We're you're gonna hunt them down. Yeah, we're oh we're they're shaking in their boots, Mr. Former Vice President. Make you pay. I will defend our interests and our people with every measure at my command. Um, can you define what our interest is? Uh, um, it certainly is not America, but I would, I would like to understand what you think your interests are. So I'm just going through this, guys. I don't have much to say on this video other than my disdain and my anger towards what's going on. And by the way, I'm remiss in saying that uh, my condolences and prayers go out to the service members and families and everyone's affected in this very preventable tragedy. I mean, it's just, you know, I don't know more about what's what's been reported because <laughs> who knows what else they're not telling us in the media. But this press conference, supposedly he gave, which I find interesting, he gave this press conference, okay? And it was lightning right before the press conference. So, I mean, if that's not an ominous statement at all whatsoever. And here we have the optics of, of your former vice president. Uh, this is Donald Trump Jr. tweeting out, this is what weakness looks like. Absolutely. This guy is a total disaster. It's it's just an embarrassment on the world stage and everything they blame Trump for this guy is doing it 10 times over and it's totally embarrassing. And if you voted for if you voted for this guy, you know, and you and you still don't see what's going on. You know, I don't know what else needs to be said. And we're only eight months in nine months in and, you know, service members, people who serve this country dedicate their lives to this country, have an oath to this country to defend the, our, this country and our borders. You know, I, I just, you know, I give extra support out to you guys and you gals and, and you patriots of this country to have to deal with this sort of simpering style of leadership. Not only that, they're also doing the same thing and worse on our southern border, letting millions of illegals coming in, which is only going to make our country more and more less stable than it is and so let's just go through some more things here he says here says uh he says joe biden says 
he was instructed to call on specific reporters for questions. Who's calling the shots here? Let's take a look and listen to this. Wishes to get out of Afghanistan. We will find them and we will get them out. Ladies and gentlemen, they gave me a list here. The first person I was instructed to call on was Kelly O'Donnell of NBC. Who wishes to get out of Afghanistan. First person I was instructed to call on. If you're the leader of the free world, who's going to instruct you to do? You're not going to be instructed by anybody. You're the leader of the free world. It's your decision to make. Are they afraid of what you may say? Are they afraid of the questions that may be asked if you're given the opportunity to talk to a reporter? It's just a joke, guys. I don't, I, this, this video, I, I apologize. Uh, I'm just going through this. Let's go here. You know, they, they brag, they're bragging about how close they were able to get to our troops before they detonated their homicide attack on them. And we see the optics across, and I haven't been reporting on this because it's such an embarrassment. I don't want to give more credence to the adversaries of this country, but at some point we got to expose this and let people know that, you know, this isn't something we just can't ignore. You know, this is something that is totally unacceptable. And the fact that they gave them a kill list, U.S. officials gave the Taliban names of American citizens, green card holders, and Afghan allies. What can possibly go wrong when our own, when our own government is giving a list of names to our adversaries? What in the hell is going on? I, I just, I just don't understand. State Department cancels briefings after Kabul attack leaves at least 12 U.S. service members dead. State Department doesn't even want to talk to the media about this because they're going into defense mode. They're trying to cover their butts. And it's really incredibly disgusting. You know, and we're expecting more attacks. You know, we have militants are surrounding the airport and they're expecting more of these to go on. These people are emboldened to attack this country. They're not afraid of the country. Can you imagine if President Trump was in office at the moment now? Can you imagine what First of all, they would have even done any of this and the evacuation would have been done way, way, way more professionally and more from a common sense standpoint. We would have gotten the people out of there first and got the military equipment out of there first. And then we would have done it in a way that was orderly and would have limited the amount of, of human lives that could have been at risk. But they have literally abandoned our citizens over there and there doesn't seem to be any hope for them at this point. So. You know, I look, guys, I'm rambling on this one. I'm not as prepared as normally on these, but I just had to do a video on this because I, I just can't n just not say anything else about this. So, as Republicans slam Biden after suicide attack, it's not a suicide attack, it's a homicide attack at Kabul airport, blood on his hands. Yeah, you think? Absolutely. So, my question is this, you know, at some point, at some point, independence in this country, people who love this country, people who may have voted for him or may not have voted for him, but at least are objective in their stance on political issues are going to see this for what it is, regardless of what the media is, is gaslighting us on, no matter what they're telling us, what we're supposed to see. Doesn't matter. At some point in time, people are going to have to come to the census and be like, look, we can't take this anymore and we're going to have to make better decisions when it comes to not only supporting our elected officials and getting the bad ones out, also making sure that we can have fair and free elections. Go to my website at theconservativetake.com, sign up to the gate. There's a link up there. It says gate membership. Click on that. Sign up. It's free. I'm going to put a video out there today that I'm going to go off. Okay. And I'm going to just say in advance, <laughs> apologies to anyone else for what I say over there, but it's going to be, you know, from the heart and just listen to that because I can't say what I want to say on YouTube. Um, I'm cutting it close right here already. So, but anyway, check that out. It's the gate dot the actually gate dot the conservative take dot com. Go there, sign up. It's free and I'll see you on that side of it as well. And so with that guys, that's all I'm going to do for now. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. I got another one lined up, but I'll do that maybe later on this afternoon. And, um, that's it, guys. I hope you guys have a good evening, and I'll talk to you guys next time.